it's Joyce welcome back to my channel so it's been a while and I just had my corporate America happy hour and they actually provided us some free wine for a little wine tasting so I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me any questions that you guys might have and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram go do it right now let's just redo this wine tasting and I'll take a sip of every single wine that I have behind me and I'll answer a question after that too. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and let's just jump into these questions. So this wine right here is a Sauvignon Blanc and it has smoky grapefruit, citrus, and tangy tasting notes. I'm not a big fan of tangy wines, but that one was okay. I give it like a six out of 10. For anyone that's gonna comment, oh my gosh, she's pouring so little in her cup. This is my second time doing this wine tasting, so I'm mentally clocked out. I don't know if I'm gonna finish, but we're gonna do our best. So the first question we have is, what is your current favorite guilty pleasure at the moment when you have free time? This is easy. If you guys know me, I'm a huge reality TV junkie, so my guilty pleasure is the Bachelor franchise, Bachelorette, Bachelor, Bachelor in Paradise, I love it all. If it's not related to TV, my guilty pleasure right now is getting my nails done. I've been getting my nails done quite often actually since the start of quarantine. I guess it's just because I started working and I wanted to feel a little bit better about myself so I've been getting my nails done but this has definitely been a guilty pleasure because it adds up. So I know I shouldn't be doing it so often but don't worry because I found an alternative to getting your nails done. Stay tuned for that, and I'm really excited about saving money and having cute nails. This is a Chardonnay, and it has baked apple and butterscotch tasting notes. Mmm, okay. I love Chardonnay. It's so light. It's so yummy. Current favorite at the moment. What is your go-to drink? Go-to drink, all right. If it's non-alcoholic, it is a matcha latte. I make it every single morning. It is the best alternative to coffee if you don't like the jitters that you get or like even the coffee that you normally have. But that is my current go-to. If it's a alcoholic drink, my current go-to is soju, champagne, and... Tequila, oh my gosh, why? Why did I forget that? Oh my gosh, right, tequila. This is your classic rosé and has zesty grapefruit, strawberry, raspberry tasting notes. Last time I probably had rosé was like from a box. So we're really stepping it up today. Next question is what is your five year plan? Whoa, we're getting really deep here. Five years, let's see how old I'll be. Okay. I'm not telling you guys how old I am because you guys are going to judge me. In five years, I would hope to be married. I would hope to either start a family or have my first child. I would hope to be extremely content with my career at the moment. Just know exactly what I want to do because right now I'm so confused. I don't even know what I want to do in my life. I would also hope that at this time I would be getting into real estate or I would have my own business at this point. And yeah, I hope that answers your question. Oh boy, we're getting into the reds. This next glass is Pinot Noir and the lady at the wine tasting said that this type of red is actually the best beginner drink to have especially if you typically enjoy white wines so if you want to venture into the reds definitely try this one out this one has cherry wild mushroom earthy flavors oh i do not like that that is so i'm literally closing it up right now because i do not want to drink that ever again how do you maintain the color of your hair? Well, I just posted a video reviewing the Overtone Coloring Conditioner and I seriously just use that every single week to maintain this lilac gray color. But I'm just saying right now, if you're not willing to put in the work to maintain this hair color, then I would not recommend because I'm pretty low maintenance and this is just like way too much for me, but it looks really nice. So get yourself some overtone if you have colored hair like me because it's really good. This wine is the classic California red wine and 
This has ripe cherry, licorice, and white pepper tasting notes. This is what I imagined what a red wine would taste like. So I like this one. Please recommend a good sunscreen. I got you. I got you. I love sunscreen and it is my ish. So let me break it down. I want to say I'm joking, but I've bought like seven of these in the past because it is my true ride or die sunscreen. It is the Biore UV Aqua Rich Watery Sunscreen. And it's so light on your skin. You don't even feel like the stickiness, ickiness from wearing sunscreen. Like it's seriously the best. I've also liked the sunscreen called Skin and Lab Dr. Vita Clinic Free Sea Sun Lotion SPF 50. Okay, that's a mouthful. I will have the links in the description box down below. And if you guys want to get these, they're also on YesStyle. And I have a discount code for YesStyle if you guys want to use it. So definitely go check it out. But those are two Korean sunscreens that I love. The La Roche Posay. I don't know how to say it correctly without saying the word that, you know, I think it's pronounced as. It is about like $25, $30, which is quite expensive but Hiram like my skincare queen king like raves about it all the time so like it's pretty good if you're looking for a setting spray sunscreen which is so mind-blowing that there isn't more of these on the market definitely go get the one from super goop because I've been using it for like a year so far and it's seriously been such a game changer to my skincare and makeup regimen because I hate applying sunscreen right after I have like a full beat on it just doesn't make sense for me to like rub anything on top of it so a setting spray like this and it's all good ready to go you don't have to worry about it this is a cabernet sauvignon and it has blackberry and plum tasting notes and it makes you feel like not worrying about the guacamole costing extra oh first place you're going to when you're vaccinated i am going to somewhere hot somewhere tropical somewhere on a beach Get me and all my girlies out there, I'm going there. I'm just gonna be doing my thing, living my life, living stress-free with my girls, and that's gonna happen very soon, When once I get my vaccine, which is, should be in a few months. But once I get my vaccine, hot girl summer is commencing, period. My friend Kat keeps texting me like, let's go to Cabo, let's go to Cancun. I'm like, like yes i'm down but like one i have to like run a marathon because i just need to get on my fitness game and two like sis we have we're in a panorama we're in a panini press we need to stay on top of it and be vaccine this one is also a cabernet sauvignon and it has blackberry tabasco vanilla tasting notes and it'll make you feel like you're Cheers. Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada. Say less. Say less. Oh. Stop. Stop it right now. This is my favorite red. I wasn't expecting that. See, I didn't know that there was like different variations of Cabernet Sauvignon. But like this one is Alexander Valley. The other one that I just tried is Paso. Last question, what person should you want to reincarnate as and why? I feel like that's like a really good icebreaker question for like happy hours. I don't know. This is, oh my gosh, I hate that I can't answer this question right now because like I'm just checked out. I'm assuming if this person died before me, I hope they don't. I hope they live a long, juicy life. I would want to reincarnate as Rihanna because she's everything. Um, or if I reincarnate into someone, I want to be Stormy, um, Kylie's baby, because she just has everything. Her mom and dad are Kylie and Travis, like iconic. So, like, what? Why wouldn't you want to be Stormy? Out of all the drinks here, there were eight. There's a lot of them. I tasted them twice. You would think I would know my favorite, but 
Actually, I do know my favorite. Cabernet Sauvignon Alexander Valley is my favorite red. This rosé is the only rosé that we had, but I love this too. And my favorite wine is the Chardonnay because once you say it, it just rolls off the tip of your tongue and it's so good. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I don't even know why I made this video, but I thought it would be super fun and fresh. And if you want to see a part two, let me know in the comments down below. Ask me a few questions and I will definitely include it in the next one for some reason i am filming so much faster and i talk way better when i'm a little bit tipsy anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye